Hi everybody, welcome to a new machine learning from scratch tutorial. Today we are going to implement logistic regression using only built-in Python modules and NumPy. If you haven't watched my previous video about linear regression, I will highly recommend to watch it first, since I explain some of the concepts a little bit more in detail there. But I will try to cover all the important concepts again in this video. So let's talk about the concepts of logistic regression. So as you remember, in linear regression, we model our data with a linear function w times x plus b. So this will output continuous values. And now in logistic regression, we don't want continuous values, but we want a probability. And in order to model this probability, we apply the sigmoid function to our linear model. So the sigmoid function is 1 over 1 plus the exponential function of minus x. So this is the sigmoid function and minus and x in our case is then our, um, our linear model. So and this is this will output a probability between zero and one. So if we plot the sigmoid function, um, then you can see this is between zero and one. So with this function, we can model a probability of our data. And now with this approximated um, output, um, we can then we must then come up with the parameters w, so our weight and our bias. And how do we do that? So again, I already explained this in the previous video. So we apply a method that is called gradient descent. So first of all, we need a cost function. And here we don't have the mean squared error an anymore but we use a function that is called the cross entropy. So this is the formula. Um, I will not go into detail about this, but I will put some further readings in the description. Um, so with this formula, what we do, we want to optimize this with respect to our parameters W and B. So we use gradient descent and this means we start at some point and then iteratively update our parameters. So we have to calculate the derivative and then go into the direction of this derivative until we finally reach the minimum. So and then we also need to define a so-called learning rate. So the learning rate determines how far we go into this direction with each step. So this is an important parameter. It, it shouldn't be too high since then it might jump around and never find the minimum, but it also shouldn't be too low. <coughs> Sorry. Um, and now with this gradient descent, what we have is we have our update rules. So our our weight is our new weight is the old weight minus because we want to go into the negative direction minus our learning rate times the derivative and the same is for our bias and then here are the formulas that we need for our um, derivatives so these are the formulas and they are actually the same derivatives um, like in uh, linear regression. So you can check the math behind it yourself. I will also put some links in the description. And this is all we need now to get started. And now we can implement our logistic regression. So of course we use NumPy again. So let's import NumPy as NP. And then we create a class called logistic regression and this will have a init method so we have an init 
and the init looks exactly the same as for linear regression so I will put some learning rate in here that will get a default value so 0 0.001 usually the learning rate is very small and it will also get a number of iterations so n iters and with a default of 1000 so this will determine how many iterations we use for our gradient descent and then I will store them so I will say self LR equals LR and self n iters equals n iters and then I will simply create some weights but set them to none at first so our weights are none and our bias is none simply that we we know now we need to come up with them and then we define a fit method so here we follow the conventions of the scikit learn mod library again so this will take some training samples and the values the training labels um, so this will involve the training step and the gradient descent and then we have a predict method and here we get new test samples that we want to predict so these are the methods we want to implement and our input um, inputs here so x is a numpy nd vector of size m times n where m is the number of samples and n is the number of features for each sample and y um, y is a 1d row vector also of size m so for each training sample we have one vector so now we can go on so first of all we have to init initialize our weights so let's say we want to init the parameters and for this we get the number of samples and the number of features so this is x shape so this will unpack the shape the first dimension into the number of samples and the second dimension into the number of features and then we init our um, weights just with zeros so we create a vector only with zeros of size number of features and we set our bias to zero at first you can also for example use random numbers for the initialization but zero is just fine and after that we use the gradient descent that I talked about so we iteratively um, update our weights so we use a for loop so let's say for i and actually we don't need this so for underscore in range and then self dot and iters so this is the number of iterations we want to have and now let's have a look at the formula again so first of all we approximate our y with this function so first let's apply this linear model and then apply the sigmoid function so let's say linear model equals this is w times x plus b so we can use the numpy dot function to mul multiply our vectors so multiply x and self dot weights plus self dot bias and then um, we apply the sigmoid function so let's create some helper method some private method sigmoid that gets some x um, so in here this is just if we have a look at the formula 1 over 1 plus the exponential function of minus x 
So we can write this in one line, one return, one over one plus NP dot, or let's make parentheses around this, one plus NP dot X, and then off minus X. And then this is all we need. So now we apply the sigmoid function here. So we say y predicted equals self dot sigmoid off and then our linear model. So this is our approximation of y. And then we need to update our weights. So if we have a look at the update rules. We first calculate the derivatives of with these two formulas. So let's say dw equals and this is 1 over n and then the sum of 2 times x times the difference of the predicted y minus the actual y. So we have 1 over the number of samples that we already got up here and then times and then we have the uh, product and then the sum over this product and this is nothing else but also the dot product of vectors so we have to can use numpy dot dot but now we have to be careful. Now we um, want to do this along the other dimension. So we have to use x dot transposed and then the dot product of this and y predicted minus the actual y. So please check the dot product for yourself. Um, so this is the derivative with respect to W and the derivative with respect to the bias is the same but only without the X so this is just a sum and by the way I left the 2 out because this is just a scaling factor that we can omit so this is 1 over n and then the sum of this difference so we say db equals 1 over number of samples and then times np dot sum and then here we simply have y predicted minus the actual y so these are our derivatives and then we update our well weight our parameters so we say self dot weights minus equals self dot learning rate times the derivative and the same for our bias so minus equals self dot learning rate times the derivative and this is all for our fit method this is the gradient descent and now let's implement the predict method so here we do the same thing that we did here so we first approximate our data with a linear model and then apply the sigmoid function to get a probability and now what we want is we want to say if it's either class 1 or class 0 so we look at this function and we say if it's larger than 0.5 then it's class 1 and if it's lower then it's class 0 so let's say our y predicted class or classes this is for multiple samples equals and then we use list comprehension and we say it's 1 if our i is larger than 0.5 and otherwise it's or else it's zero and then we do this for each y for each 
uh, probability in, in our y predicted. So now we have zero or ones and then we just return this. So return the predicted classes and this is the whole implementation that we need and now we can test it. So I already wrote a little test script where I use the scikit-learn modules to um, to load some some test data. So this is the breast cancer set. You can Google that. So this is a popular um, two class problem. And then I will split the data into training samples and test samples. Then I will create some logistic regression model with our from our file that we and our class that we just um, implemented here. And then I will fit the data, our training data and the training labels. And then I will predict this and uh, predict the labels for the test data. And then I calculate the accuracy. So how many of the labels are correctly um, assigned? Um, so if you've watched the video about the KNN algorithm, then you already have seen this. And now let's run this. So here, um, got an unexpected keyword argument, learning rate. Um, oh, sorry. I just called this LR and this is the number of iterations. So let's run this again. And then we see our accuracy is 0.92. So or almost 93% of our test data is correctly assigned. So we see that it works and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you in the next tutorial. Bye.